they bought Resolute, she came with an 11-year-old Winslow life raft. And we heard really good things about a Winslow. Uh, however, as far as we knew, in its 11-year lifespan, it had never been inspected. So we took it in to get inspected, and it got condemned. Uh, when we went in, we, uh, we wanted to just try it out and see how it inflated. And as we pulled, the painter line just kept ripping off in Eric's hand. When our Winslow life raft was condemned, uh, we spent a long time researching different life raft options. And since we needed both a dinghy and a life raft at the same time to start this trip, uh, it just made sense to go with the Portland Pudgy. He's extremely tough and rugged. Uh, we've tied him up to piers that would destroy an inflatable, uh, but Pudgley just got a few scratches. Um, also, it's he's our life raft, and uh, we use him every day. So it's not, if something breaks, we know it, and we're not gonna be out at sea wondering um, if this mysterious thing in a box is actually going to work when we need it to. Uh, he also rows really nicely. Uh, he doesn't quite row as fast as a rowing dinghy. Uh, however, a lot easier and faster to row than inflatable. Uh, our favorite aspect of the Portland Pudgy is the potential for self-rescue. If we were using the lifeboat in an emergency situation, uh, we could potentially row ourselves to a near island or to shore. Um, whereas in a life raft that may be more difficult. Um, also, it has the potential if we were to purchase the sailing kit, uh, we could also sail ourselves to safety. Uh, the biggest con that we've found to having a Portland Pudgy is that it is your life raft and your dinghy. So if something happens to it, uh, it gets lost or it gets stolen you're out a life raft and a dinghy, not just your dinghy. Another obvious con to having a Portland Pudgy is that we're not as fast and inflatable as an inflatable dinghy and we can't go as far uh, with our little um, three and a half horsepower outboard. Since we're heading over to Hawaii in a couple months, Eric and I decided it was time to test out our Portland Pudgy. Practice throwing him off the deck, uh, putting the canopy on him, and pretend like it's an emergency, uh, and we're using him as a lifeboat. Uh, we also wanted to see how uh, the, the three of us fit, Eric, Nika, and I, with all of our gear, our water, uh, the ditch bag that we made up, um, and see what it would really be like out there if we had to use our Portland Pudgy as as a lifeboat. And we'll have to make sure that the painter's not So we have um, we have Pudgley tied on with a bowlin, and that way when we throw him over, he will still be attached to the boat. But the tricky part is making sure that painter line does not get wrapped around anything when we throw him over.
So the Portland Pudgy holds, has five watertight compartments where the stuff is stored. So we stow our life wrap pieces in these. So here is the center piece. And then in the back here, we've got the other two, the front and the back. Stowed in these sausage tube. The oars we stow on the other side along with we have like a, an on the shore um, bag of just matches and things in case we wind up on spending a night on shore. Oh, we already did have a pump in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pull one of these out. There's the front canopy attached, and we're going to try inflating them with the hand pump. And of course, it comes with CO2 canisters, so that you just pull the ripcord and it inflates. But we don't want to waste those on a on a practice run. We're going to have to take turns. It's tiring. <laughs> the CO2 canister sits in its little housing when it's pre-armed. It sits on here. CO2 canister and you simply pull this pin. Just pop that. And I did it this morning accidentally and it's pretty easy. <laughs> and it uh, punctures the CO2 canister and inflates it. But really inflating it by hand that probably took about what? 30 to 45 seconds? Yeah, it was real quick. Yeah, it was It was probably less than a minute. And um, here's where the sail kit, the mast for the sail kit can go through. So you can still have the life raft set up. Sit up front. Megan's gonna do the back. Final piece. Uh, zippered enclosure. Whoa. So this is also labeled really well with the front and back. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm feeling a little seasick already. Look at all that room though, look at you. Oh, look at that. Spreading look at out. That. Oh, I just, and it's hard bottom, it's flat, it's rigid, and you can pump it out. And you're not sitting in salt water constantly. All right, now here's the real test. Let's try to sleep. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's you not fit, comfortable, though. but I, it's full length. You fit. I fit. Wow, I'm and you're not one. short. Remember, we don't have Nika in here with us. Oh, it's actually kind of comfortable. <laughs> but there's no Nika in here or any of our ditch bag supplies. This boat is going to get a lot smaller once we put all that in here. I think this would be doable to sleep pretty well, actually, because one of us could be sitting up and Nika could be at our feet and the other person could be laying down. It's actually kind of comfy. Yeah. Uh, it's a little awkward getting underneath the seat. Uh, yeah, the seat is a little bit difficult, but the seat would be nice because it's like a shelf. So one of the questions we wanted to answer in doing this was how easy it would be able to row ourselves with the canopy on. And it looks like you could easily have the front and back portion of the canopy on, uh, just not have the center portion on, and you would be able to row pretty easily, I think. Yep. I think it would be just fine. Um, so still have the protection of the front and back canopy and still row, which is, which is pretty important. I think you could even have the middle on, 
because you could just have these deflated. That's true, and you could in you really could partially yeah, it would just be hard to sit up and stuff. And yeah, but nothing about being a life raft is going to be easy. Uh -huh. Really, well done. I am incredibly happy with with the way this thing looks. Yeah, it's really high quality. It took a lot longer to put together than say our old Winslow life raft, where all you had to do was throw it in the water and pull on the painter and it would but you can keep these pre-rigged pre-rigged deflated and we used no co2 cylinders that was the longest time yeah that's true so having it pre-rigged and then just popping a cord boom you have this and then all it is 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 zipping one side of this together and you're you're in your life raft so that's i true. don't know that it, it is more work but but not significant what you gonna do now? Is that more realistic of what we'd actually have in the lifeboat in case of emergency? Mainly it's Hopefully. just the three of us. And then these are our survival gear, water and uh, our two ditch bags. So not bad, we still have quite a bit of space. You can see. It's not too crowded. 